Hey guys, we're running wild and today we're salmon fishing on Lake Ontario. Like just right out there. We got the geese. Got, got the, the boat. Riggers. Got the riggers. Let's get some fish. Let's make it happen. Let's go. Alright guys, we just got all set up here. We got our four rods in the water. I got flatline, rigger, rigger, and stacker. Lukey's watching. Dad's driving. And I'm watching too. Let's catch some fish. Alright guys, we're hooked up on the first I'm one. Uh, Daddy's got one. Go drive, Lukey. On the black and purple. No, we don't have that on anymore. Or no, this was a green and black. This is a flasher fly. No. Turn. Green and black swim by and just change up. Make the fish turn up. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Turn, you're turning, turn. We got one, boys. First one of the year. Woo! -hoo! That's how we roll. On the green and yellow. So we're about four miles out from the marina and we got one. All right guys, that's the little Chinook we just hooked up. Let's go! We'll put him in the well, make something with it. Let's go! And we'll even show you guys how to clean it later. Woo! That was number one of the day. We don't have much time left. We're approaching the marina. We've been fishing for hours. So we don't have anything there. to show for. But that was number one. Let's try to look for number two now. Woo! All right, guys, we just got back from fishing. And we caught this one salmon right here. It's a little Chinook, probably about two pounds. And now I'm going to show you guys how to clean it. So first of all, you're going to roll it onto its back. And then you're going to go from the butthole a little bit toward, a little bit closer to the head though from, from the butthole. You just stab your knife in, okay? And then you should, you should be able to feel the bone in the middle, and then you're just gonna go all the way down. Like that. All the way up to there. We're not gonna, all we're gonna do is gut it out. You see all the guts in there. It's pretty nasty, but whatever, right? And that's all you gotta do. This is its stomach. You wanna see what's in the stomach? I do. Oh, that's wonderful. Just to put your hand in there and rip out all of its intestines. Cause you can't eat that stuff. I'll get your hands will get a little bloody there. Like see all those flies that's been eating? Look at that, those are all bugs. Little flies that are hatching right there. Some more flies, liver. Here's the knife. Here's the knife. Some more guts. And now, just keep ripping out. So it's mostly clean, and then you're gonna go to your sink and just flush out all the blood. Or the hose. Oh, it's even, this is, this is a female. It's got some eggs in it. So these are some of the eggs here. And then there's some more here. Yeah. Now you know what we're gonna do after you clean out the, uh, the guts, just keep going all the way there. Remove the gills, and now we're just taking out the gills. Just gonna cut all the way down through that bone. Is the head gonna stay on it? Yeah, the head's gonna stay on. Okay, here, what's the wrong one? Okay, you see the gills are removed, and then you're just gonna cut here that little stuff. And then around the bottom of the gills, over here, where my knife is. Oh, he's slipping. 
Alright guys, now I'm just ripping the gills out here. Got some of them from one of the sides. This is what you're going to want to take out. And then there will be some more. And you just take your knife and scrape it down here. There you go. That's all the gills on the one side. So that's what it's going to look like. And then now I'll do the other side. And I'll show you what that will look like too in a minute. Alright guys, just got the other set of gills out of there. So this is what it's going to look like when you're done, okay? Just that. You got the head here. You're going to want to keep that on. Well, you don't have to. If you want to take it off, you just cut here and through the bone, but we're going to keep it on because we're going to uh, give it to our grandparents. So that's what it's going to look like. And then you just go run your hands down, take out any uh, guts that are still left in there, like this here. Take that out, just throw it into your gut pile. And then this is what you'll have. You'll have the blood. And then we'll take them inside in a minute and then just flush all the blood clots out in the sink. Oh, wait, no, we're not. First, we got to scale it. Show you guys how to do that in a minute. All right, guys. Now we're going to scale it. Take the back side of your butter knife. See, not sharp. And you just go against the fish. So you're going to, the scales always go toward the back. The scales always go this way, so you're just going to go against the scales. And just take the scales off. See, and this is what will come off. A bunch of scales. Wow. Put that in the gut pile. Yeah, you're going to put that in the gut pile with all the stomach and blood clots, gills, all that good stuff. You're just going to put it in there. Scale your fish. And just keep doing that until there's no more scales left. Alright guys, I'm almost done cleaning the first side of the salmon. This is what you're going to want it to look like, see? It looks like there's still gills there, but I mean, uh, not gills, scales there, but there's not. So if you look on this side, you see there's like all the spots, but here you can still see there's the pattern. Like see, here are the dots on the top of the back are not very prominent. Here, they're very uh, detailed. See here, there's not much. Here there is. So that's because the scales are coming off. So I'm almost on this side. I'll just finish up off the top of the back. And the scales and, have most of the color, right? Yeah, the scales will have most of the color. And then you'll be able to see your lateral line here a lot better. See that goes all the way down the side. And then you're just going to keep rubbing your knife up the fish. Clean it off every once in a while. Do it both sides. Leave the fins on and just clean it out. Okay guys, now just finishing up on this side. Almost perfectly clean. Just scooping up the last of the scales. So we can take her to the hose and just give her one last rinse off before we freeze her up. Okay, so that's basically the, at the point that we're at now in the process. Just finishing up, making sure there's no more scales left. And you can leave some that aren't attached. Like here you see, there's a couple that aren't attached here, like I can move them around, like this one right here. But, um, because of the water that's running, it'll rinse them off easily. And that's what's up. So, that's what's going on right now. I'll see you when we're rinsing them off. Alright guys, so this is what we got before I rinse it off. It's like, you're going to want to have it like two wings and the nice pink meat here. And it's okay to have the ribs there. It'll just, you can, the way you cook it, it depends. Sometimes you can just make like medallions and you just cut along like discs, like this, little sections. And that's, that's a good way to make it with some garlic on the barbecue. But now, I'm just gonna turn the hose on and just spray it down. Get all the guts out, get you know, the rest of the guts and the dried blood. And we'll finish off the day. You hey guys, now we've got the water running with the hose. Now we're just gonna um, spray it down a little bit. So have it run down the fish. Just try not to get yourself too wet, but it doesn't really matter because you get a little bit of water and you kill anybody. So you're just gonna rub your finger along it just to loosen some of the stuff. And the water will just wash it away. See, like, she's already coming off a lot. It's a lot cleaner. And yeah. 
There's some dry blood, some whatever's left in there, just flush it all out. And then that's what you gotta do, clean the fish. Guys, this is gonna be your end product. Um, all cleaned out, a couple scales on it, not a big deal, you're not gonna die. And then there's just a tiny bit of blood, but for the most part it's gone. And when you cook it, it'll go away. Yeah, when you cook it, it'll go away. My hands are a lot dirtier than the fish. So yeah, and then you're gonna have the nice pink meat here. Delicious. And this is what you're gonna have. Your nice little Chinook salmon. Hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, fishing episode. Caught this nice little Chinook salmon here. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You got something to say? Uh, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and most important of all, don't forget to stay wild.